Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. John Kelly, profiler here, and welcome. Welcome to a very sad and tragic show today. We have the alleged uh, killer Daryl Brooks and the Parade of Death. Yep, Daryl Brooks is the alleged killer in the Parade of Death up in Waukesha, Wisconsin. We have a whole, there's a whole article on this, not that we wrote it, we have it. It's uh, from the New York Post. We have it in the description. We have a link to it. You should take a look at it. We really go into uh, Daryl Brooks and his past history. Remember, everybody's innocent to proven guilty in a court of law. With this, we have a alleged mass murderer. Yep. They're saying that Daryl Brooks is a mass murderer. He's killed six people, injured dozens of others, children and elderly alike. And not a shot was fired. This guy didn't even have a gun. No gun here. No shot was fired. And we have dozens of people injured. And we have six people that we know of at this point in time that are dead. That makes him a mass murderer with an SUV. Okay? I wonder what was on his mind that day. What was his motive for killing these and injuring these people? I don't know, but we're going to find out because we're going to stay on top of this. And more will be revealed, I promise you. And we'll keep you posted. I believe that this guy shouldn't have been given bail. Whether you know it or not, this guy was out on $1,000 bail. Yeah, he was given bail, $1,000 bail. And that was on another violent offense he was alleged to have committed. Now, he's out on a $1,000 bail. He has his whole violent criminal history, and he's out on a $1,000 bail. If he's not out on that $1,000 bail, he's not at that the parade. He's not at that parade r running people down, running people over, killing kids and the elderly. If he is convicted of it, we'll see. You know, the other thing about Daryl Brooks, and I have to be honest about this, he was severely abused in childhood growing up. That's in the article as well. And, you know, we know that a lot of abused kids become mass murderers. Kids abused in childhood do become serial killers and mass murderers. Stephen Paddock was abused in childhood. He was neglected by his father. Supposedly so was Daryl. But Stephen Paddock, you might remember him from Las Vegas. He went up in his hotel room, got a couple of uh, automatic weapons, automatic rifles, and that uh, killed like 61 people from his hotel room attending a concert in Las Vegas. Then we got John Wayne Gacy, severely abused in childhood by his father. We got 33 dead. He was a serial killer. It wasn't a mass murder, but 33 dead. Still childhood abuse, common denominator. And it seems we're adding on a new one every year, you know? And the abuse can be physical with the, some of these guys, or it can be through neglect. You know, neglect is considered abuse by law enforcement as well. Ted Bundy, you can say, was neglected. He never even knew who his father was. And neither was Charles Manson. Charles Manson really never knew his father. Remember Charles Manson? He looked at everybody and said, what are you trying to do, kill me? You can't kill me. I'm dead already. That's what Charlie Boy said. You know, we're talking about evil here. and we're, I, I call it evil energy. I mean, there's two basic categories. There's kinetic energy, that's energy that's on the move. You know, that's movement. When you're moving, that's kinetic energy. And that goes into physical, sexual, child abuse. You know, that energy, I call it evil energy. You know, hurting the child, you know, physically and emotionally. And guess what? That type of kinetic evil energy becomes what we call potential energy. That's potential energy that's stored. So you can use kinetic energy and it can be put into something. And in child abuse, it's actually put right into the child 
and it's stored and it's called potential energy. Potential evil energy because hurt people hurt others, don't they? So at some point in time, that energy is going to come out and explode. As I said in the beginning, not everybody that gets abused in childhood will become a mass murderer or serial killer. But we know every serial killer, mass murderer, pretty much has been abused in childhood or is suffering some very severe mental health problem. The vast majority from my research have been abused. Neglect again is a silent, silent abuser because neglect doesn't leave any scars. However, you know, there's a lot of people out there, a lot of professionals out there that believe the deepest scars are the scars that can't be seen, the emotional scars that are left on children through not only the physical or sexual abuse, but the neglect. You know, I'm your father. I don't want to know you. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm your mother. I don't want anything to do with you. And I don't want to know you. I'm going to totally neglect you. Many people feel that a lot of these deep scars are the scars that can't be seen. And again, they're caused by neglect. Well, that's what I have to say for today. We're going to be on this. We're going to continue going over the parade of death. And we're going to be looking at the evil energy involved in this. Most importantly, you got to take care of yourselves out there. They're talking about another variant now. We can't thank you guys enough for your subscriptions, your positive feedback. We love your comments. Please feel free to comment on this. We're very interested in what you have to say. Most importantly, make it a great day. Right? That's what we have one day at a time. Let's make it a great day. And take care of yourself and stay safe. Until next time, God bless.